When and how did you first hear about the picketing and the sit-ins that started that April of 63? And what did you think of them? It came to be because of my parents' involvement in the Alabama Christian Movement for Human Rights. My mother was a recording secretary and a fundraiser. My father was a security guard for Reverend Shuds, Ray Shuttlesworth, and he guarded his home at night. My entire family was involved. It was pretty hard not to be involved. Shuttlesworth would come in, <coughs> hey Lola, how you doing? They were all friends. It was at all the mass meetings, I was at all the mass meetings, and there wasn't a bombing that I was not at. Arnetta was a member of a social and savings club. Is this going on? A social and savings club called the Peace Ponies. And one day in early April 1963, she and the Peace Ponies went to a mass meeting and heard Dr. King speak. Arnetta told me, the first time I heard Dr. King speak, it was as if he was hypnotizing you. I knew that he was God sent. <laughs> After we went to that first meeting, we decided that this was something we were going to do as a project. So Arnetta and the Peace Ponies started going to nonviolence training. But let me ask Washington James the same question. When and how did you first hear about the picketing and the sit-ins, and what did you think of them? I can't. I can't tell you specifically when and where that was, but I remember that the, uh, there were demonstrations and that the community was getting very tense. And um, I went to uh, the first church, which was on what they used to call Dynamite Hill. And uh, there was a lot of talk about what's going on in Birmingham. And then I had a, uh, a good friend in high school who had begun to uh, be involved in the lunch counter uh, demonstrations and the, the uh, demonstrations in, in St. Augustine, Florida, and other places, the training like that. So um, that's how I, I got to know what was going on. We, we didn't pay much attention. Uh, I, I was not one of the, uh, wasn't a, a A student, uh, and I was in and out of school. You know, sometimes I did other things. Uh, and uh, I, I would see it on the TV in passing. I knew that, that something was going on. I knew that black folk had, had confronted the white folk, and I knew that wasn't good. <laughs> I knew that wasn't good. I knew that, 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 that you know, that, that Maybe that wasn't what we really wanted to be involved in. And then as, as people like Anetta and Jane got involved, we got a little closer to home and I could see it still was something to be more interested in. And we would just go then and watch and do what we could to help. You know, but that at first we, we had no idea of the significance of it. And probably all of my partners and I agreed that it was something that we need not bother ourselves with. 